Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. A risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, for more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, you can get a free trial there for 14 days, and that will allow you access to the advanced order flow uh, analysis webinars and other uh, resources as well. Uh, We'll cover that in about half an hour, the advanced uh, order flow. Uh, and then uh, reach out to us at support at bookmap with any comments, questions, or issues, etc. cetera. Okay. Uh, let me quickly show you where you can find bookmap uh, if you want to give it a try at bookmap.com. Uh, here is the basic and the advanced versions. Uh, they're the 14-day trial for each. The difference between the two here, uh, the, the ability to trade from the chart the uh, and these um, – uh, proprietary indicators that we have for order flow. Okay, you can follow us here on Twitter, uh, and you can also subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, all sorts of videos here, features and components, uh, order flow video snippets that go through phenomena that we usually cover uh, in detail, uh, a lot of detail during the advanced analysis. So this is how to use Bookmap, uh, what Bookmap is showing and uncovering for you. Okay. We just finished up the ProTrader webinar series. You can watch these here uh, from the recordings from last week. And if you want to take a look at some of the selected webinars here from the advanced order flow analysis, you can watch them here. Uh, there's also the platform details here uh, that you are attending right now. Okay. So I just wanted to go through that because uh, quickly because uh, here we have the fundamental release uh, in crude oil. Okay. Uh, we have the uh, uh, oil inventories. All right. And um, why I want to cover this, okay, uh, is because look how uh, the liquidity right at this area here, okay, before 1030, okay, the, the release is at 1030. Uh, and uh, look how the a um, uh, lot of the liquidity dries up here, okay, right before. So, um, you know, three minutes or four minutes beforehand, uh, you can see that uh, a lot of traders start to pull their liquidity. They don't want to take risk in this market because they don't know what the news is. Uh, and um, uh, where does the market go? Well, when there's not liquidity, it's a lot more volatile. Uh, and you can see this volatility here uh, right in front of us. Okay, We see these whippy price uh, action uh, movements here. Uh, and um, uh, where is it going? Uh, well, it's it's pretty obvious. Uh, it's going to where there is liquidity right here at 51.85. You can see it came down and tested this area here of liquidity. There's more liquidity uh, down here at 51.80, as we can see here. Now look at these guys come in here at now 52. Okay, the figure uh, at 52. All right, now they're starting to pull as well. Okay, the initial move up up here. Well, this was before the release, but then uh, the release. There's a uh, uh, liquidity up here, these guys pulled. Uh, it's kind of curious to see that uh, it didn't come up there and it really just failed and then went to the downside. So I imagine the um, uh, news here is uh, bearish. Uh, let's see what uh, uh, the news actually is. I don't have that uh, information right in front of me. Uh, let's see here. What were the inventories? Okay. So it's, uh, yeah, it is it is bearish. Uh, it, we have uh, negative uh, 1.8 million barrels where it expected or forecasted was a 2.9, right? So um, uh, that's uh, probably why we saw the double top here and then the sell off, okay? But we're right back up there uh, now as well and uh, just testing above the figure here at 52. So it's still really just bashing around here uh, and uh, trying to find uh, uh, some direction at the moment, okay? If all of this is confusing, uh, well, that's no problem. We're gonna go through uh, in detail here what book map is showing you and then how to read it. And then we can uh, come back and uh, revisit this um, uh, this economic release, okay? Uh, and see what kind of flushed out uh, after uh, uh, the um, uh, we start to see it settle down here, okay? And what kind of direction uh, the uh, market might take. Okay, uh, so let's start here uh, with just the basics. And uh, we, uh, we do this every day, but uh, we start with a candlestick chart because uh, uh, most traders are very familiar with this, uh, and we want to take off all the other layers here of data, okay? And let's zoom out, okay? So uh, we are looking at a, are we looking at a five-minute chart? Three, two, three, four, let's see. I, I believe this is a five-minute chart. Um, 
Hold on just a minute. Yeah, five. Okay. Um, all right. So here, here's our five-minute candlestick chart. Now, most of us are very familiar looking at a candlestick chart. Okay. So uh, we understand this open high-low close of a five-minute period or whatever period you're looking at. Uh, and um, we can start to read uh, some of the, the buying pressure and selling pressure here in the market. For example, we can see some sideways consolidation here before the figure at 52. Uh, and then we see the breakout here at the, uh, at the, the crude open uh, just after 9 o'clock. Okay? And pretty strong move to the upside. And we get a retest to where we broke from here. Now we're going to cover all of this in the order flow uh, and the liquidity. Uh, and then uh, and then we see we, we accept it above this area here. So a pretty important area uh, that uh, uh, price is in the auction is accepting above here. Uh, but um, uh, we want a lot more transparency into uh, all of this data here. Uh, and uh, we're not getting it with this candlestick chart. It's a problem. Uh, it's lacking transparency. We don't have any understanding of the volume here. We have a volume subchart, but we don't know where the traders what kind of traders they are, what type, aggressive buying or selling. We don't know where uh, in that five minute period. Uh, that's that's very significant. Uh, and then uh, we also want to understand um, uh, how much, uh, exactly where. Uh, and then um, uh, we also want to look at some of the microstructures uh, in, within this five minute period. All of that is lacking here. So first level of uh, uh, data we're going to put on here is historical best bid and offer. Okay, and this allows us to see some of the microstructures. Okay, so let me, I'll click on the hand tool or the move tool. We're going to zoom into this area here. Okay, so here's what really occurred uh, within these five minute periods. Okay, uh, we can see that the consolidation here uh, back and forth, initial move to the downside. Okay, probably a little bit of a liquidity grab down in this area here. Uh, and then, um, uh, and then we can see that uh, uh, they uh, uh, very quickly price moved to the upside, okay? Uh, and uh, real real nice breakout here uh, to the upside. It We see some microstructural areas start to emerge here, uh, but really uh, up in here, this uh, pre pretty, good, uh, pretty good range, okay? And you can see that price is accepting uh, above in this area here. That is lacking in the candlestick chart. Okay, we really we really can't see that in the candlestick chart. We don't understand the commitment of the traders here with their aggressive volume either. Okay, so uh, that's the next level that we're going to uh, uh, add to the chart here is the aggressive volume. Okay, so let's zoom into this little area here where we saw that microstructural pause. Okay, and we can see the initiated buying that took place here. We see a little bit of a pause as we went sideways, and then initiated buyers came in, stepped it up, uh, and we moved up out of that area. Okay, so let's just we'll just focus on this little area right here. Uh, what we're looking at here on historical best bid and offer uh, is the uh, the aggressor. Okay, if it's a green dot, it is an aggressive market buy order. They hit the market buy button. Uh, they crossed the spread. They took liquidity off of the best offer, and a transaction occurred. Okay, uh, they met with the um, uh, limit orders on the other side, uh, and then uh, we can use this rollover tool to see exactly what occurred here. Okay, so we have the date, the the exact time down to. Um, millisecond in this case, and then we have the liquidity here on the ask is 188 contracts at 5209, and then the volume, okay, this is for a volume of one. Okay, we can move over here and we can see that there's a more volume of one. I can hover over this dot here and I can see that it's bigger uh, and it's a red dot, okay, and it's taking liquidity uh, from the best offer, or best bid, I'm sorry. So this is an aggressive market sell, and it was, it was, it's, it's for quite a bit more, it's for a volume of 43. Okay, so that's what we're uh, displaying here with the aggressor uh, and um, and where it takes place. Now, we can continue to zoom into this area here, uh, and I'm just going to do that, and we're going to start to break apart all of this trading activity, and we can see exactly what occurred here. Okay, so now we're down at uh, uh, microsecond level. We can continue to zoom into nanosecond level as well, okay, uh, and see every single trade. Okay, Bookmap, uh, its um, complex event processor can handle all of these data points. Okay, so we can really understand exactly what occurred 
in these markets. Now, most of us, we're not trading at these levels, these low, very low frequency levels. Uh, so what we've done in the uh, user interface here is I zoom back out, we consolidate just visually uh, and aggregate this just visually into a bigger dot. So we have the overall understanding of what took place here uh, very, very quickly. Now, as I continue to zoom out, note how I compress the uh, the timeline here. Uh, and, um, and then we start to uh, see so many uh, events that, that took place that we give you the volume in the overall delta here. So, for example, if I hover over this big dot here, you can see that it's for a volume of 503 contracts. And the majority of it is aggressive buying, okay, because the pie display is showing us that. Okay, we, it's it's more than 50 percent. All right, so we have a good understanding of exactly what took place, how much, and where. And if you want more details, we'll just zoom in. Okay, and you'll start to split apart all of that uh, trading activity, and you can understand exactly what occurred. Okay, all right, so that is what is lacking uh, in that candlestick chart, and that is where Bookmap. Uh, is giving you uh, insight to a lot of that activity uh, that can really lead to much better trading uh, decisions. And why do I say that? Well, because here, for example, initiated buying comes in to the market here. This is where it started, right here, okay, at this uh, uh, level of uh, 5204. Okay, we get a pullback here, and we get another pullback, one tick below, actually, at 5203, and the buyers step in again. This is giving us insight. Buyers are supporting price up above this level. Okay, we understand where the buyers are. Okay, that is completely lacking in this candlestick chart. Okay, and we can see we bounced along sideways here, and the buyers still stepped in. Okay, so this is this that little microstructural area, and understanding of the uh, market mechanics uh, that took place there, uh, gives us this insight uh, to this area. Okay, so that's just half of the picture here, though. Uh, understanding uh, in uh, the, just the traded volume in Bookmap uh, is basically just half half the picture, because we we can understand where traders are lined up to, um, or where they're committed with their um, with their trading. Okay, with the dots, we know that, uh, but we don't understand what about the auction. Uh, wh where where are they lined up to bid and offer? And that is an uh, important part of order flow, okay? So, and the order book. So that's where we'll, we'll, we'll go to the order book, uh, and most of us uh, will consume this kind of uh, data by looking at the dome, okay? This is the current market here now in, in crude, just bashing around back and forth. Uh, and um, uh, here's our, our, our dome, the, the COB column, current order book. Okay, so that's uh, that's the dome and book map, and uh, you can see here the depth of market uh, on the offer here and on the bid here. These are traders lined up uh, to trade at these levels. They're providing liquidity. They want to deal at these price levels, and they're providing liquidity with limit orders. Okay, this is where they want to to be a buyer. So we can see very quickly uh, the current order book. And we understand, okay, at 52, I see there's 136 contracts. Down at uh, 5180, there's 193 contracts. This is good. Uh, I like the dome. Uh, I, I think uh, uh, for most of us, it gives us a really good picture of the current market. The problem with the dome is that these numbers change all the time. Okay, Liquidity is added and pulled. And we're getting insight here just before 50 at 5181. Uh, and uh, we, we're starting to see more liquidity come in to the market into this area here. So the buyers are starting to get a little more aggressive. Okay. But if what if they pull? How long were they there? We, you have to memorize all this. What was the behavior like in this area? That is difficult uh, because this data is fleeting. Uh, once uh, it refreshes, uh, you'd have to re recall what that data looked like. Okay. That's where Bookmap uh, gives you the um, historical limit order book, uh, and it'll solve that issue for you. So limit, let's turn on the uh, limit order book uh, historical view uh, with the heat map. Okay. So what the heat map is showing you, let me zoom in here, uh, is the um, 
we take the data here in the dome and then we'll paint it uh, in the heat map. Okay, so let's make this area a little bit brighter for the moment, uh, just so we have a, a good, a better example here. So areas of high liquidity are painted bright white. Uh, if it's a lighter uh, or a little darker shade, uh, there's less liquidity. Okay, so, uh, and you'll see this in this, this is the current market window. It's, this is your visual dome here. And uh, we have our best bid and offer here with the dashed lines. This number is the last traded volume. And you'll, you'll see the heat map is changing all the time. Okay, it's reflected by the, the numeric values that, that are changing here in the dome. Okay, so um, uh, we, we gain insight to uh, 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 where the majority of these traders are lined up to provide liquidity. Where this gets really interesting is we take this data and then we transpose it onto the chart historically. Okay, so now we can start to understand the intent of these traders at these levels. We can see where they're providing liquidity, how long, uh, what the areas around it look like, where traders starting to front run that high liquidity, do they really want to get into the market, or did they pull as price came down toward them? Like for example, look at this little uh, move to the downside here, and these guys pulled their liquidity. So did they want to trade here at 51.90? No, they did not, okay? If they wanted to trade, they're gonna stay in that limit order book. So these 150 contracts here right now, well, let's see if we get them, if we get a retest right now. Uh, and we'll see if they're, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that they're uh, probably gonna pull because uh, they pulled once before, right? But, um, okay, we just came down and uh, we see a little bit of uh, that activity here. Okay, let me bring up the, uh, uh, cut off here, okay, and you can see they started to pull some, but uh, actually it's, it's looking a little more bullish now. They're starting to add in e even a, a little bit higher, okay. It's a little different than it was over here. So now I have insight to that intent of, of these traders here. Now they're actually looking like uh, they, they want to trade, okay. Look at these guys up here at 52, 350 contracts, okay, at, at the figure, okay. Looks like they want to absorb as much as they can. All right, uh, and they're staying in the book uh, so far. We're one tick away, uh, but um, or a couple ticks now, uh, but they're staying in the book. This is giving us insight as well. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean that just because we see all of this liquidity doesn't mean that it's going to stop the market and we're going to reverse down. It just means we've identified where the sellers are, the majority of them. The aggressive buyers can take them on, uh, and they can trade through these guys. Okay, and uh, we're going to witness some of this right now. Here, their intent to trade is obvious. Uh, it's confirmed. We see they're trading into 52, and they're staying here in the book. Okay. All right, so their intent to trade. This is not fake liquidity. We've just made that distinction. All right, so uh, for those of you who uh, always hear about the limit order book, you can never tell if it's fake, if it's real. Well, here's an example. This is real. All right. Uh, at this time, it was real. Okay. If we come back up and retest and these guys pull, well, maybe it's not. Okay. But at this time, what we do know is this is real liquidity. All right. And um, we also have a uh, an add-on here called the large lot tracker, which is showing me. It's actually uh, add-ons are showing a few different things here. We have the iceberg that went off up in this area here, and we also have large trader. This this little white line here is showing me that the majority of this about, you know, probably around 300 contracts here is one individual actor. Okay. We have an algo that can determine that by the way that these contracts hit the book. Okay. So let's just turn on the indicators for just a second here uh, because uh, here's our, here's our 178 contracts here. Uh, that was a um, uh, iceberg order. Uh, and then we, we see um, nothing here actually in terms of uh, icebergs, okay? So um, uh, these guys uh, got their fill and uh, they're, they're, they're content. All right, so uh, that's the uh, historical uh, limit order book and how to start to read it now, okay? Uh, and um, we can gain a lot of insight by understanding these traders, just, as like, just like we're doing here at 52, okay? We understand that these guys uh, wanna trade, okay?
okay? And we also know that the, the news uh, is, uh, is bearish, okay? So uh, maybe they're just trying to get on as much as they can here at the figure, uh, and, um, uh, you know, it doesn't mean that it can't trade through, uh, but uh, we, can, we can start to gauge their intent, and that is the insight that we're looking for. All right. Okay, so let me take off the candlesticks for a moment, and I want to zoom out here, uh, and I want to take a look at the bigger picture uh, after this fundamental release. Okay, what has kind of shaken out of uh, this um, uh, inventory release here? Okay, well, uh, actually, um, pretty interesting stuff. In, in fact, let me turn the candlestick back on for a moment because uh, this range here and this breakout from here, well, we can see like, you know, pretty pretty wicked action uh, because uh, coming down to the to the low here, uh, hit any of the stops, uh, looking the market's looking for liquidity. Uh, it's going to find the uh, uh, any of those um, aggressive uh, uh, buyers. Uh, you know they're they're going to be uh, probably stopped out in this area. We go to the back to the other side and bash the other side of the range up here, uh, the uh, recent high at 9:30, and then it's right back down into the range. Okay, so um, uh, this information here that we looked at earlier, uh, you can see how uh, uh, this uh, volatility here. Uh, basically knocked a lot of those guys out, anyone who put their stops in these areas here. Okay, searching for liquidity uh, and uh, looking for those uh, those stops as well. Okay, all right. So uh, let's turn that off now and um, let's uh, let's get an understanding of the shakeout here. Okay, so now it looks to me like uh, we're, we're seeing some decisiveness. Those guys at 52, they stayed in the book, uh, and uh, and we can see now the market is 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 taking a direction here. Okay, all right. Well, let's see now. Uh, this is a phenomena that we we cover in the advanced uh, analysis all the time. Look at the look at how they're hitting the bid really hard here. Okay, the aggressor has come in. The sellers have control here. There's there's no question about it. Okay, uh, looking for pullbacks now. Uh, probably the first pullback. I'm going to look at this 51.80 here, and I want to see if the sellers get aggressive with their limit orders. Uh, the other than that, I'm looking up here at where we broke from. Okay, uh, and if they're going to provide liquidity again, the sellers, and they are. They've already jumped into the book here, uh, and you can see 189 contracts up here at 51.90. Okay, so they're supporting uh, this move and this breakdown uh, to the downside. Okay, we don't get our pullback yet. Uh, in fact, we're, we're just—they just continue to hammer the uh, hammer the bid here. Uh, let's see levels to con to look at uh, all the way down here: 51.60, 51.55. Here, here's our half figure at 51.50. So it looks like they're trying to absorb before that. Uh, and um, well, let's just uh, watch this play out here. Looks looks pretty good. Uh, to uh, I don't see aggressive. Uh, some buying starting to come in now. Okay. So maybe we'll maybe we'll get our pullback right now. Okay. Yeah, here here they come. Okay, broke a little structure here, uh, and uh, maybe we'll get a pullback up into this area here, uh, our 5180 area that we were looking for initially here. Okay, 5190. Those guys are still up here, uh, and uh, we'll we'll see we'll see if we get our pullback or not. Okay, first stop, yeah, right around this area here, 78, 80, something like that. Okay, here comes 80. See, so notice how the liquidity is starting to uh, starting to get a little bit brighter up in this area here. Okay, maybe I need to adjust my uh, heat map uh, a bit. Might be good. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Okay. All right, so here's here's 76 liquidity and uh looks like around that 80 area they're they're adding and pulling here. So um they're not uh, a little bit shy up here at 80. Okay, here come the aggressive sellers and uh Let's see if uh, we see them uh, really lower that offer in some of these areas here. Okay, coming up, 
All right, here we go to 80, okay? That's our first area, right? Okay, so that area has been hit, okay? 51.90, looks like they want to come up and test 90, okay? Now these guys pull at 90, okay? And they're supporting price now at interesting area, right? Understanding the order flow, understanding that this this 51.80 was important. Now they're providing liquidity on the bid at, at 79, okay? Just one tick away from 80 here. Okay, so maybe we'll see uh, a move back up into 52 now. That's possible. Okay, and they're supporting price at 85 as well. Okay, 52 looks, uh, well, now let's see. Now, now, now we're back here now to that 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 initial question of this is where it broke from. Our seller is going to jump back in here around this 5190. Okay, we saw them provide liquidity, but then they pulled. Okay, so um, uh, we'll we'll see uh, if we get a little follow through. The sellers are back in though, as you can see. Okay, now, I, now let's see if these guys at 79 will pull. And maybe we'll get real, real nice move here to the downside. Nope, seller's starting to dry up here. Okay. So anyway, you can see what we go through in the process. Um, uh, for the uh, advanced analysis webinar, we started to note buyers coming in down at this area here. We noted the structure starting to get broken. Uh, we, we noticed them lifting the offer, and we started to place our targets, looking at uh, 5180 uh, or 81 being the first area, and then 90 being the second area. Uh, That's exactly where we've come back up to, and now they've uh, kind of flipped uh, their supporting price here at 79. Okay. So anyway, uh, that's uh, what Bookmap uh, is showing you. Uh, and um, uh, the uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can always reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, happy to help you. Uh, if you uh, want to give Bookmap a try, uh, go ahead and uh, you get 14 days uh, uh, free trial. Uh, and that will also give you that uh, uh, access into that uh, live um, uh, order flow analysis in the uh, in the webinar that starts at 11 uh, Eastern. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.